What's up YouTube, it's Matthew here once again with another video and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about direct mail and how to do direct mail in 2019 and if it even still works. Before we go on, be sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on post notification bell and comment down below. Now direct mail is a very traditional way of marketing. Back in early 2000s and even in the 90s, for wholesaling real estate, direct mail was the for sure way to, to get responses from customers and sellers, to get them to call and um, just just sell their houses to you. Now, um, with technology, with your cell phone, there's texting, RVM drops, cold calling, PPC, and all these different ways of marketing. Does direct mail still work in 2019? And what are ways that you can make it work in your company? Uh, uh, my first deal was from like one of these random yellow postcards that I sent out. And um, yeah, so it worked for me. I actually closed in it uh, probably a few months ago in August and you know, I saw that it converted. So it was just an absentee list. And that's the thing. I think the number one thing you have to remember is does it fit in your market, right? And so, for example, I live in the South and I was sending these postcards over to a more uh, rural place. I mean, it's not that rural, but it's, um, it's not your larger cities in the South like Atlanta or Nashville. And so with this, people still are responding to postcards. So number one is to see if it works in 2019 is look at your market. See if, you know, these are modern people, urban people, you know, rural people. And usually if they're more rural, your postcard will work. Now, how did I make it work? The, you have to strategize with direct, direct mail, uh, especially in 2019. And you have to send out a campaign weekly. You have to send out your mailers weekly. Uh, there's no more of this, oh, send in it once every two, three months. You, you have to send it out weekly. So for example, I, I pay for my mailers every Monday and I just send it out. And you know, sometimes it hurts just pressing that pay button, but um, I noticed that consistency gets the best response. And so, um, you know, if I send it out Monday, I know it's gonna get go out that same Monday and hit probably Thursday or Friday of that next week. Uh, and so I know when to really look on my call rail and look at uh, who called, who left messages and other things like that. So another huge tip when, um, doing direct mail marketing is the design of the card, right? So for example, you know, I'll try to block out. This is one of them that I use. It says, I buy houses. It's very colorful. You know, you have your, your nice font here and whatnot. And it just says, I buy houses. I want to buy yours. My name is Matthew. I'm going to buy yours at the address, I will pay cash. And you know, I, I'm still very traditional. I say, hey, all you have to do is call me at my number, listen to a pre-recorded message about this matter, call 24 hours, seven days a week to listen to my message, message no one will answer. So this is a very traditional, like Chris Chico, what he used to do. So you all saw the light just changed, but uh, that's what I use. And so, I think your design is really important. I'm thinking about doing like the Google Images one. I heard that one's more um, converts uh, way more than you know your your common traditional ones. You know, and I also have like no commission, no fees, buy as is, pay cash, close when ready, blase blase, right? Um, and so I think that's another way to really uh, stand out in 2019 with direct direct mail is your design. So we talked about knowing your market and your design. Number three is your audience, as in the list that you're targeting. So we talked about the market kind of in like your type of audience, but now the specific type of list. So your tax delinquent, um, your absentees, which one works better? So for example, if you're selling, sending mailers to absentees, you're sending more to landlords. Are landlords going to respond more to postcards or as opposed to a phone call, right? Um, if you're sending to that tax delinquents, Okay, are these people checking their mail? Do they check their mail more often? Are they already getting a bunch of calls from um, like, you know, 
the state about their taxes and whatnot. And so they're not most likely going to answer your phone call and maybe a direct mail piece may may open up to them more and, and they'll respond to that better. So that's something to really consider the type of list. Now I have to admit that direct mail is costly. So I'm paying about, if I send 2000, I'm paying about 37 to 38 cents a mailer. So let's say if I send out 2000, so let's just 2000 and then I just times it by 0.38. So I'm spending like $760 for 2,000 mailers. And I actually did that a couple of times for like five times. And so as you can imagine, um, times five, it's almost four grand, right? And I'm in the process of doing that now. And so honestly, I'm, do, I'm doing high equity owner equity, owner occupied list, and it's not converting so well. And I already spent over four grand on it. And so like I'm really considering other ways of marketing. So just to be frank and uh, transparent with you all, I'm thinking about doing RVMs, just, just sending them out because they're cheaper. You know, I can send them more often in mailers. Um, yeah, and it's just a, a better way to reach them and they, they see, they hear your voice and it's directly to their phone. But with that, you may not reach as much people because you know, you may not get phone numbers for everybody. Um, you find more addresses than you can find phone numbers. So that's something to consider. Um, so yeah, just wrapping up things. Does direct mail work? Yes, it does work. There are people that still do it. You know, these major players, you know, they do like cold calling and direct mail, right? They hit them on different, you know, points. Um, and so I think it can work for you and it can work depending on your market and whatnot. If you don't have the funds right away to do it, don't do it. Um, you know, I praise God I had funds to invest in this business from my t-shirt business and whatnot. But um, if you don't, you know, driving for dollars is a really good way. And you saw in my other video, I link in down below, how to drive for dollars for free. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, smash that like button, please, please. Comment down below and subscribe. Peace.